it's a pleasure to welcome you all here for a very special occasion. Very special for all of us. Very special for the for IHES. Very special for me as well. So, uh, dear Claire Lees and Philippe Tonder, dear Marilyn Simons, uh, Claire Lees and Philippe are online with us from Illinois. Uh, Marilyn is online from New York. Dear Jim, who could not, Jim Simons, who could not connect, but who is with us nevertheless. Dear Jean-Pierre, dear Emmanuel, dear friends, chers amis, I want to thank you for joining because it's a very unique ceremony. It's always quite special for an institution to receive exceptional gifts, such as the ones we are celebrating today, because they allow us to create a new permanent professor chair. The story of those two gifts is even more special. Uh, the donation was initiated by uh, Claire, Lise and Philippe, matched by Marilyn and Jim. Uh, and it is special uh, because it is a story first of a scientific co co collaboration and transatlantic friendship. For those of us, most of us, I mean all of us, know Jean-Pierre. Uh, we know that Jean-Pierre is not very comfortable uh, when put uh, under the spotlight. He accepted to make an exception because uh, he's, uh, I can say it this way, he loves IHES. He's in love with IHES. Uh, and it's a way for him as well to thank his friends. When he uh, took over in 1994, uh, it was uh, 20 years after defending his PhD and having made uh, uh, great contributions uh, in differential geometry. Uh, he moved, he changed from a mathematician to a manager. The transformation was not obvious and he succeeded beyond uh, all expectations. He realized uh, very quickly that to stabilize IHES, uh, we needed, he needed, we all needed to uh, secure private funding to, 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 to modernize the way the institute was financed. At that time, in France, to a certain extent in Western Europe, it was a, a, a disruption, a new way of financing science. Why is that so important? It is important because it's the only way to ensure uh, uh, that our professors, our researchers in general, are free to do their job in fields with no constraints, no teaching, no administrative obligations, to be in an environment that favors their uh, success and allows them to pursue disinterested research uh, and to, to just to make science move forward. This conviction of Jean-Pierre is from the very beginning shared by both uh, Claire Lise and Philippe Tondeur, and by Marilyn and Jim Simons. Good friends of Jean-Pierre, both couples, and uh, those friends of Jean-Pierre 
supported him from the very beginning in his endeavor to uh, secure for IHES uh, this stability that we all enjoy today, but was not a given back in the late 90s. I, uh, I've been a, a student of Jean-Pierre a long time ago, not, not a very good one, uh, and uh, uh, I remember seeing him uh, in 2000 uh, on the sixth floor of uh, the building where was where EADS, European Aerospace Defense and Space Company, was headquartered, uh, just explaining to colleagues of mine and myself uh, the project. We want to secure that this Institut des Hautes Études Scientifiques is stable so our professors can work freely without worrying about administrative contingent matters that would de move them, that would deviate them from their goal and their research. And their research. Uh, the ADS was one of the first uh, large corporates to join. And uh, this means that I'm involved with this Institut de Hautitude Scientifique since 23, 24 years soon. Like Jean-Pierre, like all of us, uh, Claire Lise and Philippe Tondeur, as I was saying, uh, believe, uh, Marilyn and Jim as well, believe in the power of knowledge in fundamental science, in mathematics. They are convinced that our model uh, where bright minds are free, as I was saying earlier, they, from administrative constraints, from teaching, from uh, uh, wondering whether uh, they will be financed tomorrow. Uh, this model, uh, I was saying, favors creativity, favors uh, collaboration, favors discovery. But this is also true for art. And uh, uh, Jean-Pierre realized that immediately, from the very beginning of his tenure here. Uh, it's thanks to him that uh, uh, Jean-François Dars and Anne Papillot, who are present, no, they're not, uh, I was looking, but I didn't see them, uh, uh, produced the magnificent work on IHES uh, led to the book uh, called Les Déchiffreurs, the, uh, the Unravelers. They captured through beautiful photos uh, and texts different aspects. But what's, what's more important, what's stronger than that, what's beyond that, is uh, this connection between fundamental science and art. Uh, you remember, you remember, we were uh, wondering uh, what kind of uh, uh, justification uh, we could give to f fundamental science. And the comparison with art ca came straight away. And this was seen from the very beginning. Let me say a bit, a, a few words more about Jean-Pierre. I mentioned this 2000 meeting we were having. Uh, where Jean-Pierre is, is great is in connecting people, which is not a given, again, I mean, it's not, it's not obvious that when you have been in a, a very high-level mathematical career, it does not prepare you for connecting people. And uh, you, have, you, have been, you have been amazing, Jean-Pierre, in bringing together very different types of people, very different types of individuals, and gathering them around one, one, one same goal. At some stage, you had to leave us. And you took over a very prestigious position. You were the president of the European Research Council. And I can say now, because it's, 
it's it's over so we can we can we can we can we can turn you in uh, you were president of the european research council but it was quite often that i see you in in here you never left really and uh, your dedication to us is is amazingly strong amazingly strong i tried to uh, ask you to teach me some mathematics and I can confess to today 23 years later that I'm not yet done with the Griffiths and Harris I did not I did not go through I mean it's it's impossible <laughs> <laughs> one other feature I would like to highlight and I, I, I will I will kind of wrap up there is uh, again you were not prepared for that and you showed amazing skills in uh, building international ties we owe you the development uh, of relationships with key organizations in Asia in India in Japan in in China uh, Again, not obvious. I mean, uh, I, I, I couldn't tell that differential geometry could, would, lead, would lead there. You'll explain to me what is the connection, but I haven't found it yet. You have uh, done so much in this relationship with Asia that I, uh, you, 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 you have been recognized not only in France, but you have also been recognized in the countries you built ties with. And I, I've been honored to, to attend uh, a year and a half ago uh, when uh, the Jap Japan ambassador to France conferred to you the Order of the Rising Sun. Uh, uh, in recognition of all your contribution to the connection with Japan. Speaking as in my capacity of chairman of the board of IHES, I'm very proud to inaugurate today this Jean-Pierre Bourguignon chair. It's a superb recognition of your role, of your contribution, of your devotion to IHES and to science. And this is, this is not nothing. Jean-Pierre, uh, you've been my professor. Uh, I'm one of your students. Uh, you've been the director here. And I'm very proud to be able to count myself among your friends. And this friendship is all around the place because your friendship with Claire Lisa and Philippe Tonder, your friendship with Marilyn and Jim, your friendship with all of us here describes best uh, what we are doing today and the ceremony we are having. I will stop there because I could speak for, for, for a few hours. Uh, uh, it's time for me to, to hand the mic to Claire Lise and Philippe uh, Tondeur uh, so they can tell us about uh, Jean-Pierre, the, inst the Institute, and what led them to the donation. So Claire Lise, Philippe, it, the floor is yours.